I want to thank everyone for being here today. It means a lot that so many have traveled so far to help celebrate this exceptionally special day. Today just didn't happen. A lot of work has gone into it. And I'd like to thank Laura and Andrew and Disney for making the experience so great for every one of us. This is the moment. When I first saw her, I admired from afar, tactically positioning myself at the bar. Plucked up the courage, I started to chat, who was this pretty girl in a hat? An opportunity arose I couldn't miss, little did I know it was true love's first kiss. This is the moment. When Laura decided to settle down, she was looking for someone who was honest, reliable, hardworking, handsome and funny. Unfortunately, he was married, so she settled for Andrew. <laughs> With all the experience that I've had, I'd offer a few tips to Andrew and Laura how to get through married life. Keep your marriage filled with love from the loving cup. Whenever you're wrong, admit it, and whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> comes to Karen, Laura is the complete definition. Five years ago, Laura faced the biggest battle of her life and won. I must say, one of the bravest daughters a mum and dad could ever have. We consider ourselves to be so lucky to still have her here with us and be able to celebrate with her and Andrew on this fabulous day. I'd like to thank Lynn and Tony for raising their wonderful daughter. She's a credit to you both with how strong she is as a person, how brilliant she is with her children and how much love she has for her beautiful family. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Fraser and I'm the proud father of this man here. Most of the stories I have about Andrew concerned family holidays and his love of football. Um, I'd also like to thank my own parents, Avril and Fraser, what they have done for me my whole life, not just today. They've put my brothers and I first for 37 years. They've protected us, supported us and loved us, enabling us to be the best versions of ourselves. From sleep, Laura and Andrew are two of the most hard-working people I know. They're just devoted to each other. You can feel it when you walk in their house. You can feel it in the atmosphere, you feel it when you sit down, it's a good feeling. It's one you don't get often. In addition to Laura and Andrew joining a marriage today, it's also a very special day for their children, Annabelle, Anthony, and Winter. As individuals, you are strong, but now after today, together as a family, you'll be stronger than ever. Today, the five of you become a family united under one surname. Of course, while we're mentioning family and friends, we have to remember Laura and Andrew's furry family at home who I'm sure would have loved to have been here today. To find someone who will love you for no reason that is the ultimate happiness. It's in the spirit of love that we're gathered here today at the most magical place on earth, not to witness the beginning of what will be, but rather to the next step of what already is. 
their very obvious love for one another, and now their wish to spend the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. We rejoice and celebrate in the ways life has led them to one another, and they are grateful to each and every one of you here for sharing this wonderful day in their life. Similar to the story of Cinderella, they wanted to include themes of kindness, forgiveness, and never letting unfortunate circumstances deter you from happiness. You'll find those themes in their wedding ceremony here today. Those themes have been a part of their lives together, and now as they go through their lives together as a married couple, those themes will continue to influence their marriage. <laughs> It was Laura and Andrew's hope that all of you would leave here today knowing how much they love you, that you would have learned more about their love for each other, and that you would realize that you are not here merely to bear witness to their being married, but to celebrate it with them. Allow me to welcome Laura into our family and let me say how beautiful she looks today. On behalf of my wife and I, we would like to thank you all for coming all the way to Florida to share a special day with us. Now to my beautiful wife, I am truly in awe of you every day. You are the strongest, most caring, truly stunning person inside and out. I'm proud to call you my wife. Seeing Laura walking down the aisle, I've never sported a bigger smile. Absolute perfection, love of my life. Raise a glass to my beautiful wife. To Laura. Now to the kids. Annabelle, thank you for your help with your sister and brother that gives us the help that we need at times. You're becoming a fine young woman. Anthony, the golden boy, you bring us to a world of laughter with your anecdotes and your stories. Then we've got Winter, the miracle baby, which she's disappeared up that way. Hi, yeah. She's clearly been in this world before with how she acts and she's like a wee old woman. <laughs> They're beautiful children. Thank you for being yourselves all the time. In the presence of your family and friends who have pledged your love to each other, I now, by the authority vested in me under the laws of the state of Florida, am happy to pronounce you husband and wife. Andrew, go on and kiss the girl. Laura and 
Andrew, may your love and your marriage grow like a beautiful, healthy tree, sending roots deep and branches high with new love and beauty every season of your life together. May you find constant reward and challenge as you pursue the ongoing adventure of learning who you are and where you want to go. May you always have a special sense of your mission in life together. And may you never tire of the endless possibilities of exploring your shared existence. And long, long years from now, may you look at one another and be able to say, with you, I have lived the life I always wanted to live. in a few more seconds. <laughs> Annabelle's loving this. <laughs> you want to go see your grandma and grandpa? It's funny how Andrew uh, was with us, as was Craig and Stuart, and during the time that they were with us, they did absolutely nothing in the house. No gardening, no cooking, no cleaning. No DIY, absolutely zilch. But when they met their girls, their partners, everything changed. So I think, well done the girls for changing them. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha